Good morning, it's Pastor Larry here. Um, it's Friday, it's August the uh, 5th. Looking forward to church this Sunday. I love my church family. I love being able to have church and uh, come and worship the Lord, come and praise Him, uh, uh, to get to speak about Him, uh, to sing to Him. Uh, Lord, I, I love church, um, and I hope you'll come. You know, yesterday I sent out a um, just a, a de- devotion uh, in words with a picture um, about some hard things, you know, Jesus let us know on the Sermon on the Mount. This morning I'm going to talk about some more hard things. You know, in uh, 1 Peter chapter 3, the Bible says this, And who is he that will harm you if you be followers of that which is good? And there are those that would harm us if we were followers of good, but it's not God. God's not going to harm you for doing good, for following him. But, and if you suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are you. But we will suffer because there are those that would do us harm. Satan does not want you following God. Just know, okay, if you give your life to God, Satan is your enemy, okay? Um, If Satan is not your enemy, then I would ask you why. I think it would be a good thing for him to be the enemy. And you might be like, well, I don't want him to attack me. Yeah, I'd rather have uh, Jesus being glorified in my life than uh, worried about whether Satan's going to attack me. And this is what the verse is talking about. God... God is greater than Satan. God is greater than him. And God is stronger. And, and God will allow Satan to do things in our life to, to allow us to suffer for righteousness sake. But there's a reason for it. So it says, but if you suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye. And be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled, but sanctify the Lord God in your hearts. That means just set your heart on God. Set it on God. Get into his word, follow his spirit, set your heart on God and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. We got to tell folks about Jesus. When we're going through that hard time and that meekness means that we don't think we're better than them. We don't think we're better than someone else. We don't think that uh, uh, we've got things going on or anything like that. We, we know that we're a sinner. We know that we're wretched, that we are vile, that we've sanctified God. And God is the reason we're where we're at. And God is the reason that we have the joy through whatever circumstance. And so there's a reason we give that answer for the hope, but we do it with meekness and we do it with fear. We do it with the fact that we know that there are those that are dying and going to hell. There are those that we love, that we care about, that they are going to depart this world and go into eternity without Jesus Christ. And man, that ought not be a thing that we want. That ought to be something that scares us to cause us to be moved with compassion as Christ was every time he looked on man. Having a good conscience though also, that means we have to have our heart, our mind clear between us and God. That whereas they speak evil of you as evildoers, they may be ashamed that falsely accuse your good conversation in Christ. Who cares what people say? Who cares what people think? What does God say? What does God think? For it is better if the will of God be so that you suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. You know, if you suffer for something you've done wrong, (laughs) there's no glory in that. That's that's called chastisement. I I know these are hard things, but I want to encourage you, those those of you that know Christ, man, be like Christ. You're going to suffer, but set in your heart that you're going to follow Christ no matter what. And child of God, Be ready to give that reason, give the answer for that reason that Christ is in your heart, that you're working towards uh, uh, glorifying him. And if you don't know Christ, hey, uh, reach out to me. I'll tell you exactly how to know him. Love you. Praying for you. Hope you have a great day. God bless. And we'll hopefully see you Sunday.